Hi and welcome to another episode of Peacemake TV. In today's video for WordPress, we're going to be jumping into the Astra Pro theme and taking a look at one of the specific features. Now, the Astra Pro theme has been gaining a huge amount of traction recently due to the fact that it's a very versatile theme. It's also incredibly quick to load. We're going to take a look today at how we can work with hooks. Now, I covered hooks in the Ocean WP theme recently and found it an incredibly powerful way of being able to inject content or code into your theme. Now, Astra does it in a very similar fashion, and today I'm going to take you through and show you how you can use the same kind of functionality inside your theme if you use Astra as opposed to Ocean WP. So let's just jump into WordPress and take a look at how we can do all of this right now. So I've created a basic page and we're going to use this as the basis for creating our hook. So as you can see, it's a normal page. You've got a title at the top, header, some call to action information, a couple of columns, typical kind of layout. What I want to do is inject this particular design into the area between the Astra theme header and the actual content itself. Now we could obviously do this on a page by page basis, but that can kind of get a little bit long winded and also becomes a lot more complicated if you want to start using the loop inside WordPress. So if you want to put this at the top of all your blog posts, for example, it's not quite so easy unless you custom make each blog post. So the use of hooks really does open up a great range of different things we can do to inject content into our designs. So to do this, we jump back into the dashboard of WordPress. And the way that Astra works in this is we need to come down and choose the Astra option. So we come to appearance, we're going to come down to Astra. Now, once we open that up, you can see we've got a couple of tabs at the top that allow us to do various different things. Now, yours may differ slightly depending upon the plugins that you've got added in or whether you're using the free theme. You're going to see different options at the top of this section. What we want to do is we want to jump to custom layouts. So we're going to jump over to that, and that gives us the option now to create some custom layouts and apply those through each individual page. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on Add New. And you can see this now opens up an editor that allows us to go and start creating content. Now I've got Elementor and Elementor Pro installed and that really does help create more rich, engaging content because you can use the Elementor editor to create the different sections you want to inject into the actual design itself using hooks. And that's what we're going to do in this one. Now you're not limited to only dealing with sort of static HTML content or content that you use through the Elementor editor. You can actually call up PHP code and inject that into the design itself. Now that goes beyond what I want to cover today, but just be aware that this is something you can do. And I recommend checking out the documentation on the Hooks and the Astra website. That'll give you a lot more information about how you can start using PHP as well as HTML code. So let's create a simple banner, a call to action section at the top to say, for example, it's a Black Friday sale or something like that. So we're just going to call this sale header. What we're going to do is we're going to set some basic parameters up in here. We're just going to come down and we're going to say we've got the option for custom layout settings. Now, before we do that, let's go and create the content. So let's just quickly publish this so we can save any changes, including the title. You can see we've got enable code editor. If we want to start working with code, we can do that. And that's part of the Astra theme. What we're going to do, though, is we're going to come into the edit with Elementor option, open that up, and we're going to start creating some basic content. So before we do anything more, let's save this out and let's do a couple of other things. Before I save it, I just want to change the template from the default template and we're going to change that to Elemental Canvas. Now the reason we're doing this, I don't need the header or the footer or anything else that's part of the template. I just want a blank, plain template. Obviously, I've got Elemental installed, so this is part of the Elemental install. You may not have this if you're not using Elemental. However, I would recommend using the Elemental free version just to give you so much more functionality and a much more visual way of working to create these hookable content areas. So let's set the Elemental Canvas and let's just click on Update. That will now update it, make sure we save all the changes, and we can now go in and start working with Elemental. So let's click on that, and let's just jump in and start taking a look at creating our basic sort of layout. Now, I am going to keep this really, really simple. All we're going to do is going to click and add a section in there. We're going to put one row section in, and we're just going to simply create a sort of call to action kind of thing. So in there, we're just going to come over, and we're going to drop in a simple title, and we'll just come back, and we'll specify just some text underneath that. So what we're going to do is simply set some information in here and we'll call this Black Friday Big Sale. And we'll leave the text underneath, that's, that's fine. I'm not too worried about what's going on in there. Let's just quickly style that a little bit just so we can make it a bit more interesting. So we'll just set this to be a dark gray. We'll set the typography in there. And we'll just go in and we'll say we're going to use 
Montserrat. And we'll just put that to be uppercase. And we'll just simply come over and we'll set it to be center aligned. And finally, we're just gonna bump the weight up on that to make it stand out. Okay, so we've now created our simple sort of head. And let's just center this as well, just so it looks all nice and neat and tidy. So center that. And finally, we're gonna come up to this row. And what we're going to do is we're going to give this a background color. So let's just create something that just stands out a little bit. Uh, it doesn't really matter too much what we're going to do on this. So let's just go for a really pale green. So that'll look really quite horrible. But it gives you an idea. So let's hit save on this. So we've now created what we want to be our little banner pop-up. Let's do one more thing as well. Let's come in and let's just specify. Let's just animate this. Just so we can make it really pop off the page. Let's jump to advanced. And what we're going to do is we'll do an entrance animation and we'll just say, let's just bounce down. So that'll kind of draw attention to what's going on. So we'll hit save. Once we've done that, we're going to jump back out of this. So we just go back to the dashboard. And let's just update that page to make sure everything is saved nice and neat. So now we've created the layout for our hook, but we haven't actually hooked it into anything. So the next thing we need to do is hook this into our design, specify where we want it. So this is where the custom layout settings comes into play. At the moment, you can see we just got the option for select. So we click on there. We can now select various different areas we want to hook this into. And it might look quite basic. And until you choose something, it is kind of basic. So what we're going to do is we want to say we want to use the hooks. So we're going to click on hooks. And that'll expand it out and give us quite a lot of functionality. We can do things like we can set up exactly what action is going to happen, the priority of it, what user roles can see this, what page to display it on. We've got a real huge amount of control over exactly where this is displayed. I'm going to keep it simple, but I'm going to give you some explanations of what each of these different things do. So first of all, we've got action. So in other words, where do we kind of want this to appear on our page? Now you can see we've got areas like the head, the header, the content, if we scroll down through this, we've got comment, sidebar, footer, and underneath each one of those sections, you can see we've got a range of different places we can position it inside that particular parent element. So for example, in the header area, we can do body top, header before, masthead top, and so on. If you're not sure what the terminology is being used here is, I would recommend just trying it to get yourself familiar with what each one of these different content area sections actually refers to. That'll give you a good idea. But what we're gonna do for this is we're gonna keep this simple and we're gonna say body top. And you can see we've got priority. So if we're using various different hooks, we can set a priority to specify which ones are going to have a higher priority and a lower priority for how they display and so on. Next up, we've got spacing for top and bottom, so we can assign some spacing elements in there. And you can see with various different options on here, we've got a little question mark that tells us exactly what this function does. So if you're unsure, take a look at that little pop-up tip, and it'll tell you what that particular function or option does. Next up, we've got where the real power of this starts to come into play, and that's the display on section. So you can see if we click and expand that out, we've got a range of different options on this. We can specify, do we want this to be on the entire website, on singulars, on archive pages, on the 404 page, and so on. So again, you can see we've got a ton of different options available to us in there. And you're not limited to just one action. You can build up multiple different actions. So you could say you want this on the 404 page and you want it on the search page and you want it in the data archive and so on. Well, you can just build those up. So we can say, for this example, we'll go for entire website. But you can see we've got add display rule and add exclusion rules. So if we wanted to, we can add additional rules. So we can add a second and a third and so on. Sometimes it makes my life much easier to add an exclusion than try to add all the variations where you want something to display. So you could easily use the add exclusion rule. So let's just get rid of that first one, say add an exclusion rule. You can see it now says do not display on. In other words, which pages do you not want it to display on? So you can use whichever logic kind of works true for you, whatever makes it the easiest. So again, let's just delete that from there. We've also then got the user roles. So again, you can see we can open that up and you can see we can go in and we can choose to have basic. So that's for everybody, for only logged in people or only logged out people. So you can have different kinds of messages, you know, sign up today, for example, for a 20% discount. Well, if someone's already signed up and logged in, you don't really want to display that information to them where well, you can choose logged in and logged out. And you can see you can choose to display it to administrator, editor, contributor, and so on. And if you've set up your own custom rules in there, your own custom roles, for example, for different people, then that'll pop up and allow you to choose what, uh, what option is available and what people can see the different sections that you put in through the hooks. 
Again, you can see we've got add user rule, so we can easily come in there and we can set multiple different rules just by clicking on add user rule. So we can really get down and fine tune exactly who can see what we put on there. And that's really all there is to it. So what we've done is we've gone through and specified we want to use the hooks option. We want to tie this into the body top. We've got a priority of 10. We haven't applied any space in. We want to display this on the entire website so every single page we create will have this information on it. And we can have the user roles so we can go in there and we can say, for example, we want everybody. Everybody can see this. So let's just update the page. And that's now completed what we need to do. So if we jump over to the front end of the site, refresh the page. We'll take a look at what this looks like. Okay, so let's refresh the page. And you can see now our banner pops in right at the top. Now, if you find that's not in the position you want, you put it in the wrong place, it's easy to update. Just simply come back in, come back to the action section. And what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down and we're going to say content before, which is where I want it to be. Click on update, jump back over to the site and refresh. And you see now that sits in between what will be our navigation and header bar at the top and the actual content itself. So very easy to move it around. If we wanted that to go right down the bottom, for example, above the footer, well, we could easily come back in and we can choose footer before footer, update our page, scroll to the bottom and refresh. And there's our animated section placed exactly where we want it to be. Without having to go in and actually edit any of the theme or any of the pages, we can simply hook that in to exactly what we want. So it really is incredibly powerful, but also very, very easy. Well, that's all I wanted to show you. I wanted to show you exactly how these hooks work inside Astra as opposed to working with Ocean WP. I hope you found the video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and smash that subscribe button to be kept up to date with all the new content we add every single week. If any comments, questions or feedback on this video or anything else covered on the channel, please pop those in the comment section below. And until next time, take care.